guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dania and you are watching Spicy Mommy Vlogmas. Kind of one of those for shits and giggles because I'm not even sure why I'm doing this, honestly. I'm a little bit scared. I was looking at advent calendars, okay? And then I saw that there was one for like different hot sauces. Like you try a different one each day for the month of December. I decided not to go with that. I ended up finding like a different kit where the sauces just look better. Because in all honesty, salsas or hot sauces that aren't Latino made, you know, they just be adding all these extra spices. And I'm just like, y'all are doing too much. I had the best reviews and it just looked like they might actually taste better. I'm actually not even that good at eating like spicy foods. I know, I know. I'm catfishing you guys again because spicy mommy, but it's the attitude that's spicy. <laughs> I actually ordered it from Amazon. It comes with 20. I do have wings right here. Let me show you. Which I put in my air fryer so they're good to go. There's a ghost pepper one that I'm really scared about. I do have, just in case, a little bit of milk right here. A little bit of orange juice because I feel like the acidity would just help. And a beer, just in case, you know, because beer pairs well with wings but I don't know about when they're like this hot. So what you guys will see right here, there's a little spinning wheel. It was RJ's idea for me to do this. So I put all of the 20 hot sauce flavors on here. We're gonna do more of like a 12 days of hot sauce type thing. I'm gonna be tasting 12. I really hope I don't get like the most spicy ones. Like I said, all 20 of them are in here. And as one comes up, I'll remove it from the spinning wheel so I won't be able to get that one again. I'll name off some of the flavors that are in here. Like there's a lot of habanero ones. There's a lot of like high-end stuff. For example, beer cayenne, cayenne chipotle, and habanero, sweet jalapeno, jalapeno lime, garlic habanero, a lot of habanero, garlic arbol, extremely habanero. Just to name a few so you guys kind of get the idea. We're just gonna get straight into it. So let's start, cause I am a little bit hungry. Let's see what happens. <gasps> it's spinning. Apple whiskey habanero. Apple whiskey. Where is that one? Oh my gosh, the real challenge is gonna be getting these opened up. I should have opened them all before. I think if I just twist them, it'll come off. Okay, it did. No, if I just twist them off, they'll just rip off. So, so what I'm gonna do is I have my little plate here and I'm just gonna like dab it. Oh my god, that's way too much. Anyways, let's just get right into it. So Here's my little wing. Remove this one from the wheel. Okay, so I just, you know, I'm not gonna like fully get the whole thing and I'm just gonna bite it. I'm kind of scared already. I think I put too much. Okay, I'm gonna go for a second. Mm. Honestly, it's actually not that bad. I would have it again. So it's spicier than like any sauce I would normally order on my wings, but not to the point where I'm like dying and it's not super thick. So I think that helps. Let's move on to the next one. Mango habanero. I don't think that you guys could, I don't think the camera is focusing on the letters, I don't think it lets you see what's on there. So mango habanero. This is hot sauce number two. This one looks a little bit more red and thick, so. The mango one's actually really good. Okay, this is gonna be kind of funny if I'm like somehow super brave and do them all without even complaining. All right, we're going with the next one. Garlic arbol. Not sure if it's picking it up, but I don't know, chile de arbol is what I'm thinking this one has. Let's go with a different wing now. And I am dipping them like good, okay? Like this one, I dipped it really good. Mm. 
honestly, these sauces aren't bad. I'm mostly impressed because I feel like once you start tasting things that are super spicy, they actually kind of taste like shit though, other than the spice, if that makes sense. These are all pretty good. This was definitely tingling my tongue though. It was getting a little tingly. All right, let's go for the next one. Bacon cayenne. Also, comment down below, are you one of those people that like eats their wings where you like leave only the bone or do you kind of like leave them with the meat on the sides? You know, like, are you one of those? Cause I'm like, I leave the bones like completely naked. Okay. Bacon cayenne. Oh, this one's like smoky. Mm. This one's not bad. This one's a lot smokier though, but I still think the garlic arbol one was a little bit more tingly. Oh, this one's kind of doing things to my nose though. Not bad. These actually, I am, I already recommend you guys get this kit because the flavors on here are pretty good. I also wore lipstick because I feel like it would stop me from licking my lips. Sweet jalapeno, you know this one's gonna be good. I keep forgetting to show all of them to you guys, but this one's green. This one actually has a good flavor. It kind of tastes more like a Latina green salsa. So it ain't bad. Oh, the mocos are starting to run. They have one called Extreme Habanero too. They have a tequila pineapple. That one seems like I want to taste that. I'm going to pour it here in the middle and then I'll get another plate for the next ones. Okay, so it's this darker one right here. Okay, the habanero's popping for real. But I'm just impressed because these are good flavors. But this is spicy. This is probably the spiciest one I've had. Papa no Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. No one's kicking or popping. I don't need water. I don't need water. Bigger plates now. So our, there are 14 entries left. So 14 salsas left. That means I've already tried six. Poppin' Habanero was definitely the hottest. That one like did make my mocos, you know, act up a little bit. Beer Cayenne. Okay, let's try it out. That one smells, all the Cayenne ones, I don't really know what type of chile that is, but those all smell more like um, smoky. I feel like the cayenne ones are the most mild. Jalapeno Fuego. Could have splashed into my eye. I actually want some of this beer. Let's see. Jalapeno Fuego. No, it's not bad at all. That one's super mild. All right, garlic habanero. I actually feel like I'm doing way better than I thought. Maybe these aren't that spicy. Like I didn't get any of the extremes. Like I would never do the one chip challenge. Like I'll die. But I figured that these would be spicier than they are. Only one's really got me so far. That's a good little kick. But the garlic flavor is good. Not bad. Let's see what number 10 is. Garlic.
garlic herb. Oops, I spun already. That one tastes really similar to the garlic habanero. I could actually kind of start to feel the chile in my stomach though. Cayenne chipotle was the next one. I don't really like chipotle flavored stuff. Ooh. That one just smells really vinegary. It's not bad, I just don't think that I really love the flavor of this one. I'm getting scared, do you guys think I'm gonna get ghost pepper? Extreme habanero. I'm kind of scared about this one. This one's a little red, a little darker red than the others. And I think this one's number 12. So, okay, here we go. Let's see if we're ending with a bang. I just really dipped this one. Look at that. Okay. That's the one. Okay, that's extreme. Ugh, we're not going in for a second one with that one. Okay. I already had a dip, so might as well. But that one's a lot. Mm-hmm. That one's a lot. This thing really saved like the hottest for last. Most of these weren't very spicy, or I mean they were, but not as much as the Extreme Habanero. That one is a lot, and we still have ghost pepper, so I'm gonna cool down, and I'm actually not gonna fucking chicken out. Get it? Chicken out. Anyways, I'm not gonna chicken out. I'm gonna taste it for you guys, okay? So number 13. But I am scared because the one before, I could still feel it. So I think I need to cool down a little bit first. So on the screen, and now it says it now says ghost pepper. I kept spitting this till it came up. And I'm still really enchilada from extreme habanero, but it's because it's all on my tongue. Here is already open. Oh my gosh, it's like dripping down the let me just show you guys, okay? For sure, so you guys know that I'm doing that. Right here in the middle way too much ghost pepper fuck i'm scared you just know this one's gonna give you like the chorro cramps like you just know it's gonna happen start getting my tums ready because you know we're pushing 30 so that's kind of an issue now for my peers this wing barely hanging off <laughs> okay here we go ghost pepper i'm scared We're gonna go for a second because I've done that with all of them and I'm not a fucking quitter. I'm just gonna finish the wing. Okay, it's coming. It's happening. That's one way to clear your sinuses. Half of these weren't nowhere near as bad as I thought they were gonna be, except for two, okay? The the last two, we pretty much ended with a bang. I'll link the hot sauces down below, because they, like I said, they had really good reviews and they have like other kits too with like bigger size bottles of like some of their most popular flavors. But I did think a lot of these, like I said, were really good. I'm like slobbering. That is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would wanna try any of these flavors, like which ones would you be interested in trying yourself? Don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you turn on your bell notifications because you will be seeing me again tomorrow and you don't wanna miss any of my uploads. Remember mommy, stay spicy, stay positive. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Now that the video is over, I can go back and finish these wings that I left like this because me daba vergüenza like to get all like down and dirty. 
but now that you know i'm ending it i'm gonna go back and finish them is that gross also a little side note ladies for those of you that say you don't like beer have you ever been enchilada and like a beer is one of the only things in front of you that's the training you need 